Hey guys, welcome back to our scrap mechanic video and today I'm going to show you how to use the pit function in the math block. As you can already see I have a stabilized hovercraft over here, it stays nice level, um, about 10 blocks above the ground. And as you can see it also adapts to the terrain, it like, it, it grabs on or something, it's really, really nice. This one in particular is made by Spursy Bone. And as you can see, it all works with these three pit blocks. One is for Hoover above um, above the ground, about about 19 blocks apparently. And two others are made for Pichignon. Um So yeah, let's let's get a look on how this thing works um, by creating one ourselves. Um, and just for a quick demonstration, I also have another one. And so you can see the true potential of the thing. Oh, this one works with altitude, so... Um, this one goes to a given altitude, we should probably test it over there. A better thing to do if you want to hover over terrain at a certain height is to put a cert sensor on it, a smart sensor. But yeah, as you can see, it hovers perfectly to the given height. And it does it just perfectly. Like, Quickly goes there, stabilizes everything, and if we jump on top, we can even change the height that we want to go, like 10 blocks lower, 10 blocks higher, 10 blocks even higher. And of course, we also have pitch and yaw control. If we add something like this, it'll stabilize it back. As you can see. Like it tilts it for a moment and then it stabilizes back. Of course, there is a limit. It'll try to even out, and as you can see, it also tipped a bit and and is a bit down. And then you change the eye, but whatever. We'll um, get into that in a second, and then um, you'll all be able to create a stabilized thing like this. All right. Let's remove this and start from scratch. Let's start with something that hovers over a certain height. So we'll start off with uh, a thing like this. I'm just gonna use a smart thruster. Uh, I mean a gimbal thruster. So that's the easiest thing to do. So it always points up. And then we use the pit function over here. So we'll go to pit. And then you can see that it's orange, red, and purple. So in the paint tool, it's these three colors, P, I, D, and then these three colors are also used for extra parameters. This m there might be extra stuff added in the future, but um, for the moment, it'll be these colors. Also, white and black are used for the set parameter and the process value. So like process value is the, the value you're currently at, the, the height, the current height, and the, pro, uh, the set value is the, the height you want to go at. So let's first say we want to go to a certain height. So yeah, I think that's Alright, we're currently at height 3 and we want to go to height, I don't know, 10-ish. And we also add like 2 because it never will reach 12, it, that's, that's a thing of the pit loop itself. It'll try to reach the thing perfectly it can, but if there's like gravity involved you'd need to increase I for a lot. Uh, or just increase this a bit. Increasing ice is a risky move. Anyway, to get to that height, what do we do? We connect that up and we just increase P. So first P, P basically, uh, P basically multiplies the subtraction of white and black. So you increase P 
until you start hovering up near that height. And P can be very high, so that's why we use bigger values. Now we are increasing by tens. As you can see, we start hovering. All right, that's great. It is oscillating. We can make it oscillate a little more. This should be fine. But now if you start from the ground, like um, we can disable this for a second, you'll see that the oscillation will be really bad. So that's why we have D, P I D. So that's purple. And we also increase that by a lot. And D basically is the derivative. So um, the faster you go up, the more D will dampen the uh, trust. So you can put that very high, like roughly the same, and then test it out. And if it's not fine, then you can put it even higher. I think I just increased the AP too much. That's the thing of pit loops. You need to like get it right, and it's really difficult to do. Let's get a higher height. Right, because this is a lightweight craft, these values can become very high. But if you have a low weight, um, a higher weight craft, you probably want these values to be a little lower. Yeah, as you can see, it stabilizes pretty quickly now, and um, you can even put it even higher. 1000 already. Let's go overboard, right? It's really difficult to get a D oscillation, really. Oscillations is when it goes up and down and up and down. The P oscillation is very easy to get. The D oscillation is a little harder to get, and I oscillation is also pretty easy. Um, but um, yeah, oscillations, you don't want them. So that's why we're tuning it and getting it right. <laughs> it's just incredible. So we don't really need I in this loop, but for certain applications, when you have like a constant force, um, pulling to one side or something, you probably want to add I. So if we go to this height, you'll see that it goes to 15 and not 20. That's why we either just add five every time we want to go to a certain height and just call it offset, or we can just increase I, and then it'll try to get to that certain height even more. Yeah, just taking, Take in mind, it always will be offset a little bit, but it won't be an issue. Like 300 should be fine. One block is no problem at all. All right, let's go with the tilting. So let's attach orient blocks. Well, exometers in orient mode. Orient mode basically always points up in that axis. So yeah, if you draw an, a, an arrow from this to there, then like uh, like this, it'll, rot it'll, it'll output the rotation around that axis. Right, so now we need a pit block, another pit block, and we need some thrusters. Be sure to put them upside down on the other side. Now for the rotation around this axis, we want to drive these thrusters. And for the rotation around the other axis, this one. use this thruster. Uh, this, this, this. Yeah, these thrusters. Never forget to paint your stuff. Right, that's correct. That is 
I don't know. Is that some metal? Yes, that's also correct. If it wasn't correct, you can always just invert it by changing this to black and then it's easily inverted. Yeah, this will happen if it's incorrect. Right, so as you can see, you'll have oscillations at first. And we're gonna solve that by increasing D. And if, as you know, D needs to be very high. It's already stabilizing really well. Oh, we had an oscillation, D needs to be higher. And if there's like weight like this, you can see it's already trying to stable. Oh, yeah, um, gotta be careful with that. As soon as there's weight added on one axis, the other axis will really easily destabilize. So yeah, just put that really high. Or don't, that's the oscillation. Uh, let's just try one, 120. Oh, yeah. Okay, so be careful with that. Yeah, it's always just a bit of fine tuning. As you can see, now it's tilted. And if we increase I, and we can see it's already stabilizing it. It's trying to search a stable angle. Gonna be, not gonna be easy. Yeah, this should be it. As you can see, it's just a tiny bit tilted, but that should be fine. If you have a really big craft, you can change I to be really a lot, a lot bigger. But um, I wouldn't go overboard with it. Yeah, this is the really easy, simple tutorial on how to use PID. You can see um, I will steadily increase it because I is calculated over a certain period of time. And currently we have an I loop which takes a long time. And if you want to change that and fix that, you can do that by changing this color. This is the time over which I will be calculated. So. Currently that's about 400 by default, but we can change that to about, I don't know, 200-ish. So if we change it to 200, it should be more responsive, quicker. And now when we offset this, I will think, oh, you've been two seconds like this, we need to rotate this way. We'll do that, but after just uh, two seconds. Is it two seconds? There's 40 ticks in one second, so 200 ticks, uh, whatever, I can't do math anymore. Five seconds ish, yeah? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, after about five seconds, it already knows which angle is stable. Anyway, you can do anything you want with this, so like stabilized cars, um, crafts. Um, I look forward to seeing what you guys can do with this. So yeah, just um, send it over in the Discord or something. I'll link the Discord down in the description below. So you can uh, have a look over there and maybe chat with me if you want to. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.